Good morning, everyone. My name is Adriana Gomez. I'm an MBA candidate at Middlesex University, and I'm here to explain the Boa Vida project. Boa Vida is um, um, internet-based that allow people to um, approach to well-being lifestyle. As its slogan says, uh, Boa Vida um, main objective is helping people to balance their life. What is the problem? Well, the world is facing high levels of chronic illnesses because of today's unhealthy and stressful life, um, lifestyle. Um, health systems are having complications with ability, cost, and quality of care because unhealthy living is generating more than 50% of 57 million deaths per year and it's expected to grow by 70% um, within the next decade. A significant amount of people in the United Kingdom don't know how to take care of their well-being. And for instance, approximately 88% of British don't know about the existence of wellness centers, wellness um, facilities in the UK. Also, the use of internet um, is becoming a um, necessity rather than a luxury. Um, for example, more than 70% of adults in the UK needs to use internet for daily duties. Okay, the most integrated solution that I found for this problem was a uh, uh, internet based that connect people easily to well-being lifestyle um, where they can receive the wellness services from wellness centers. That is why um, web page was the perfect solution and Boa Vida allows um, the wellness centers to expand faster than they're expanding now, but at the same time, the customers can receive the wellness services from them. But not only that, Boa Vida also offers additional services that um, co uh, confirm that the people is um, connecting to well-being li lifestyle. From uh, deep research, market research, and especially primary research, the target customer identified it was people between 25 and 55 years old. They are professionals with an average annual income over 25,000 GBP. They are internet users at home and also at work is people who live in a stressful um, environment and also they have low knowledge about wellness but they're conscious about the importance of wellness in life. Our business model, well, Boa Vida um, focuses on three programs which are Mind Inspiration, Nutrition and Fitness. Um, Boa Vida also um, trade with wellness centers. There are part, um, the company has a partnership with wellness centers um, with five types of wellness centers, which are spas, nutrition centers, uh, physical training, mind therapists, and alternative medicine centers to offer their own services to the customers. But as I said before, not only that, Boa Vida also offers four more additional services, which are updated information, customer guidance, online chat, um, and online trainings. Boa Vida um, covers her, um, its revenue through a commission fee from the wellness centers, which is 7%. And also focus on two segments, which are enterprises, um, which cover the short term, 
and universities which cover the loan term. In terms of market size, well, the UK wellness market size is um, 0 0.62 billion GBP, where the border video segments represents 43%, uh, which is 0 0.26 billion GBP. But we were talking about the 7% of commission fee. So the Boa Vida market size finally is nearly to 18 million GBP. Um, well, the market is growing. Um, these factors confirm this, which our GDP growth rate is 0.7% in the UK. The UK population has grown 3.2 million during last decade. From 2007 to 2012, the health and wellness market in the UK grew at a rate of 1.9%. More than, twi uh, than sorry, uh, 200 wellness facilities have, have been added to the UK industries portfolio during the last year. Um, also, the e-commerce global penetration will increase from 6.5% to 9.3%. And finally, 13.5% uh, of British purchases are through internet. That is higher than Germany with 7% or the US with 5%. Um, because Boavida trades with wellness centers and also with customers, the marketing strategy is divided between both of them. So we have the first marketing strategy, which um, focus on four factors, growth advertising, pricing, and customer services with wellness centers. And we um, basically do conferences to target segments, tracking new customers, wellness centers do customer training as well, um, advertising, well, we will offer one free advertising per month, a free newsletter, the pricing stays with, stays with the commission fee, and the customer service um, focus on wellness environment and also customer-centric service. In terms of the, market the marketing strategy with customers, is based on the four P's model, um, so, it's focused on advertising, segmentation, pricing, and customer service. And advertising, uh, well, the advertising will cover wellness benefits, wellness services benefits, and Boa Vida will participate in fairs. Uh, segmentation, as I said, enterprises and universities. The pricing strategy will cover three levels, which are regular prices, seasonal prices, and also price scales. And the customer service will focus on wellness environment in the first place, also customer-centric service, but also we are going to improve our service after customer feedback. Um, okay, so three main competitors were identified, which are Spa Finder, Wahanda, and Spa Breaks. Wahanda is the main competitor because of their knowledge about wellness, variety of services, brand positioning, um, coverage also, variety of suppliers, payment facilities, um, easiness of using the web page, and also their page performance. But Boavida come up with a competitive advantage, which is very strong, with um, educating customers with proficient um, wellness knowledge. Uh, monthly newsletter. Also, the, advertise, the advertisement for each wellness centers, um, one per month. Conferences to target customers. Tracking customer preferences to gain loyalty from them. And um, the owner passion about wellness. Um, this uh, is something that the other competitors don't have. About um, in terms of Potter Five Forces, well, I just want to highlight two factors important, which are that power of buyers and 
strength of substitutes are high. And that was uh, taken into account when the marketing strategy was done. Um, in terms of financial analysis, well, I just um, want to say that the cash flow during the first two years is negative, as you can see um, in the slide. But in the third year, will recover, will be recovered, and it will increase exponentially the next years uh, after that. Um, about the seed funding, uh, we will need 16,625 pounds um, in order to cover employment, rent, utilities, internet, marketing cost, office um, equipment, and development cost. And we are expecting to have bank loans, grants, and investors as a source of funding. And the investors, investors are representing the 60% of the whole funding. funding. Um, our team, well, a wellness specialist will be needed, a marketing coordinator also, an accountant, IT support, and obviously the manager. Well, I just want to say thank you for listening and don't hesitate to contact me um, anytime.